yo what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are diving into something super exciting and that is vibe coding with multi-agent ai systems before i discovered this i have been using ai to build projects wrongly so in this video i will show you how to utilize multi-agent AI systems for vibe coding. Imagine building an app with a team of AIs. One designs the UI, one codes the backend, one optimizes performance, and one deploys it live, while you just vibe. This is what we call multi-agent AI systems. But before we jump in, I've got to be honest. I haven't been active here on YouTube or Udemy for the past two months. I have been busy building not one but two full SaaS products from scratch. The first one is Classra, which is a modern school management system that helps schools run smarter with a lot of features including online school fees payment, online resort checker, smart examination marking system, and if you click on the features here, you're going to see the detailed breakdown of the features for this application. And the next product is called Rema Data. And Rema Data is a data reselling platform right here in Ghana. And you can buy your own internet bundles or even become an agent and resell for profit. And here is a crazy part. If I search Rema Data using AI, for example, top five data reselling platforms in Ghana and let's search. As you can see, my platform ranks number one and I got most of my traffic from AI search queries. And I'll have a video to walk you through how to allow AI to identify your product or your next SaaS product. And one big secret that made this one possible is something called multi-agent system where different AIs work together like a team. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can use the same technique in your next project. But first, let's have clear differences between LLMs and then AI agent. LLMs stand for large language model. Large language model like ChatGPT, Cloud or Gemini is basically a super smart text brain. It is trained on tons of text data and it can answer questions, write code, explain concepts and generate ideas. But here is a catch. It doesn't do anything outside of talking. Think of it as that genius friend who gives amazing advice but never leaves their chair. So what is an AI agent? An AI agent is like giving that genius friend arms, legs, and a mission. It doesn't just talk, it acts. An AI agent can use tools like browsers, databases, APIs, and others. It can also plan and execute tasks step by step. It makes decisions based on goals. It works together with other agents like planner agent, UI agent, backend agent and others. It is not just intelligent, it is autonomous, meaning that it can perform actions, not just predict text. And this is what I use to build these two SaaS products. Let me show you how to use multi-agent system when building projects. The next step is you need to know the models that support AI agent. When it comes to programming or coding, we have a lot of these AI agent tools. For example, Kersa, Tray AI, Windsurf, and others. The concept here is going to be the same, but the implementation might be different. So I'm going to demonstrate using my Rema data as an example. For this, I'm going to show you how to use Kersa. Once again, this is my existing project, and that is Rema data built using NetShares and I built these two products using AI without writing a single line of code. If you look at the dashboard here, you can purchase your data, you can load your wallet and so much more. Once again, I built these products using AI by utilizing 
multi AI agent system. So how can we make use of that? Before you jump to build project using AI, the first step is we need to know the various agents needed for your project. So I'm going to give you five agents that is going to be common irrespective of your project, but you can add more agents as time goes on. So the first agent is called planner agent. The next one is UI agent, backend agent, optimizer agent, and new features agent. Let's begin with the planner agent. The planner agent's responsibility is to give you a clear picture, the roadmap, the features, the tech stack that your application needs. That is the responsibility of the planner agent. And you're going to configure cursor or tray AI to use planner agent. So here you're going to provide a prompt and a prompt can be like this. You are the project planner for NSJS plus MongoDB SaaS web application. Break the project into logical modules and features. For example, authentication, dashboard, payment, analytics, and etc. And include API route, database collections, and component structure. Your goal here is clear step-by-step -step roadmap for development. So this is a prompt given to the planner agent. Let me show you how to configure using cursor. And you can do this by using what is called rules. If you click on the cock icon here, and then let me expand. Let's get back to the rules and memories. Here we have different rules, user rules, and then the project rules. The user rule here will be global irrespective of any project. But for project rule, it is specifically to your project. So for this one, we're going to configure using the project rules. So here, I'm going to add, add new rule. I'm going to give this rule as planner agent. And then hit enter. And we have the file called planner agent. And I'm going to provide the prompt as that. So we are done configuring the planner agent. The next agent is UI agent. And the main responsibility of the UI agent is to focus on the UI only. For example, a prompt can be like this. You are the UI UX designer for a NestJS SaaS product. Design a clean, modern, and responsive interface using Tailwind CSS and React components. Focus on dashboards, models and reusable layout suggest ui patterns that match ai driven product like notion or linear and you can customize how you want the ui planner to behave so i'm going to click on the project rule here click on the rules and then we can add unlimited rules as our agent this one is UI agent and I'm going to provide the prompt as that. The next agent is backend agent and this is how it goes. You are a backend engineer, build secure and optimized API route for NestJS using TypeScript and Mongoose. Implement JWT authentication, crowd operations, and rates limiting with AppStash Redis. And follow clean architecture principles and retain proper status code. So I'm going to add one more rule or I can even do it manually by right clicking. And then here as backend dash agent, the extension is MDC. And then the prompt goes like this. And I believe we have seen the pattern now. The next agent is going to be the optimizer agent. And there is a prompt for the optimizer agent. You are the performance and scalability expert. Review the code base and suggest improvement for database queries, 
API response time, caching, and build optimization. Optimize with tools like React Query, Redis caching, compression, and lazy loading. So I'm going to add one more rule as optimizer agent. And last agent is going to be new feature agent. All right, so we are done with this agent. The next step is how to use these agents. When using cursor for the user rule, we're going to provide general rule for the application. So let's say that we are starting a new project and we have our rules here. So I'm going to close these guys here and then I'm going to open the AI pane. And as you can see for cursor, we have always apply rules. That is why we have five rules here. Instead of always, I'm going to use apply manually using the mention. So I'm going to change this one to use apply manually for the agent. Similar to these guys. Okay, so unless we specify the agent before it can be used. So I'm going to use the at mention and rules. Let's begin with the planner agent. So I'm going to say that let's begin with the planning and I'm going to select the ask mode or the planner mode and then submit. All right. Let me use the auto mode because I'm not on the paid plan. So let me re submit and let's see the response from Cursor AI. Assuming that we have no idea about what we are building. By this point, we have an existing project. So it is looking into the various files to know the planning for this project. Once again, in case we have a new project, it's going to focus on the rules that we specified. So anytime you want to use an agent, just use the at mention and you'll be good to go. So the next step is how to use agents using Tree AI. Currently, I prefer to use Tree AI over Cursor because when I was building my two SaaS products, I saw that Tree AI is cost effective and behind the scene, they are all using Cloud or Sonnet 4.5. When it comes to pricing, Tree AI is very, very affordable. And one cool feature that Tree AI has over Cursor is that Tree AI has a built in agent. We don't have to use the rules to specify your agent. So let me show you. If you click on this toggle icon here and then agent, as you can see, you can add your own agent. So if I click on this, I can say this is my planner agent. The prompt, you can choose which tools to use. And I'm going to create that here. I'm going to use it now. So for Tray AI, you can specify which agent to use by selecting the agent that you have specified. As you can see here, I have one agent for Rema data. And this is what I use to build the Rema data platform. I believe at this point, you got to know how to use this agent. In case you want more videos like this, then hit that subscribe button, comment, like, and share. Catch you up in my next video.